Hey YouTube, Epignosis here. Doing a video that I've been waiting to do for a while. It's going to be on Peltier Tech chips. So I'm going to jump right on into it. Basically, these are coolers which can be used for many different purposes. But the purpose I'm going to use it for is to try to cool down my, my computer to get it down maybe around 19, 20 degrees, maybe even lower than that. I, I might be able to get it down to 14. Uh, basically, the Peltier chip is two ceramic plates with metal dots like inside of it, which when voltage is applied to it, one side gets hot, one side gets cold. So I'm going to demonstrate real quick how that works. But before I do that, I wanted to show you what was in between the two between the two ceramic plates. If you see inside of there, I don't know if you guys can see that. See those are just like little, I guess, metallic squares of some sort. Might be aluminum. I'm not sure what type of material it is, but uh, yeah. The voltage goes across that, and you can see how that is plugged up into it. I fried this one, so that's why I opened it up, so you guys can see. But when voltage, when voltage supply gets cold, one side gets hot. If you have a heat sink, you apply it to a heat sink and cool the hot side down. The cool side gets colder. So I'm going to demonstrate that using a temperature sensor, a pulse width modulator, and as you can see there, that's a 450 watt power supply. It's nice to have one of those if you're like a do-it-yourselfer. So this heat sink came off of my PlayStation 3, and that's going to lead me to another project that I'm going to do. I'm water, Basically right now I'm going to water cool my PS3 using water blocks. I saw it done on YouTube, so now I'm going to take a shot at it. I took the fan out because the fan is ridiculously loud, so now I'm using it for my little test bench here. Uh, water blocks would be better if you use the water block on this. It would get even colder because water floating through the system will be a lot better than a heat sink, but all you really need is a heat sink, pelt air. You can buy these off of eBay. Put, when you put the Peltier on a heat sink, you always want to use thermal compound. This is Arctic Silver 5. It keeps it from gapping so that it, it's like paste, metallic paste with little metal shards in there. And it, it makes a better bond to the heat sink. This is a pulse width modulator. Basically, that's used to control the gain voltage. So I have it turned all the way down right now. If I want to gain it then I'll just turn it up. These are about 35 bucks on eBay and of course the temperature sensor you can get about five bucks on eBay. So I'm gonna mute this because it's gonna get a little loud. I'm gonna use this water here. I have a toothpick. Hopefully I can make a little popsicle stick for you guys if this works properly. So I'm gonna mute this. Let's start it now.
All right, let's see what happens. You guys can see that. Oops. There. See that? Pretty nice, right? Turned uh, water into ice. Maybe took about a minute. Just ice. So as you've seen in the in, in the video, it was down to about negative twelve. So that was um, that was pretty cool. I'm going to sandwich one in between my processor now and see what happens. Once I get that done, once I get it all wired up, I'll do another video so you guys can see the temperatures and uh, maybe test it out, see if it actually works, see how well it works. And then I'll get back to you. So you guys at YouTube, have a great day. Thanks for watching.